This is Amora, two weeks old. As y'all can see, she has teeth, right? Yeah, I was just as con confused. So, she was born. They handed her to me, and she had these, like, bulging gums, as y'all will see in the next picture. And I'm like, wait a minute. Do she got teeth? Here's the, here's the gums. You see, she had, you could see them a little bit. So, by four days old, it was one tooth that had came out, but the second one was still bulging. By this time, I had did a little research, and I found out that these were natal teeth, which are teeth that come out within the... This little girl gonna fart in my video. Which, sorry, they're <laughs> neonatal teeth, which are teeth that are present within the first 30 days of birth. So you can see that her gums were super wiggly, and by three months, that one tooth had eventually fell out. But that second one was still sitting in there nice and strong. And breastfeeding with a baby with teeth, y'all know in the beginning of breastfeeding, it already hurts. So having teeth made it like 10 times worse. So by six months, it had eventually fell out. And when she was one year old, she had no teeth. The top ones didn't come in or nothing. I don't know if it slows the process down, but she had no teeth by one. I think they came in, I want to say this is around 16 months. She look at my baby. Oh, there go two little teeth up there. Hi, I'm Mommy. Who are you? Mm-hmm. Who are you? Huh? Who are you? I'm Toothbella. Where? So as all her other How baby teeth go in, she just had that mm -hmm. little gap right there. Until her adult teeth finally come in, which is, which is what you see here. And she's seven now, and they're finally in. <laughs> and that's my story.